of our teachers tonight. Rachel Kramer, author of Houston, Buffalo. She's an author, editor, blogger, and event organizer. She is the editor of 40 anthologies. That's a lot of work. Including Women in Lust, Obsessed, Orgasmic, Gotta Have It, Fast Girls, Best Bondage Erotica 2011. Oh my god. Spanked. Bottoms Up. And more. She is Senior Editor at Penthouse Variations and writes a sex column for Sex Is Magazine. Put your hands together for Rachel Kramer. <laughs> Maybe that will get out of your system, he said. 
Then I'm confident as he went to the future and took out some veggie burgers. <laughs> Not funny, I will, and really want it. Baby, I'm wondering if she'll laugh. Knowing if I wasn't pulling anyone, let alone myself, with that when it raised me. It's just a phase, he said. I could tell if he was amused. And when I walked over to him to cut his crotch, I found that he wasn't just entertained, but tantalized as well. I insisted him and took out his dick. The one piece of meat that was safe to eat. <laughs> you are it too, don't lie, I said. My thumb running over the slip and tip. You love a pork chop or sloppy joe, I continued as I wrapped my fist around him. I continued regaling him with every meaty meal I'd eaten growing up as we both packed 40 for flesh of the edible kind. Our fridge was filled with soy this and organic that, the feeding versions of mock meat that were delicious. It didn't quite have a special thing. We agreed to let the subject go, but that burger brought it all back, and then um, I bit my lip when the waiter walked over, unable to turn away from his crotch. Then he on to me and ran his hand up my leg. I think we're ready, he said. All over for both of us. So laid me down for me, and a well done cheese for her for the lady. I gasped. It was just a game, wasn't it? We wanted to raise our child as a vegetarian, not a vegan, didn't we? On some level, that was still true, but I couldn't deny that I wanted what we ordered. My very wet pussy certainly didn't lie. I felt completely out of place at this fancy restaurant where we were ostensibly celebrating our anniversary. But now I had forgotten why we'd chosen it, but we both usually prefer a local veggie hunty diner or Mexican joint. But maybe it had chosen us. Maybe the meat wanted us to eat it. I thought I'd have to not deny anything that made my pussy pound so fiercely. Wait a minute, I said as our server started to walk away. Could we get those to go, I asked, my cheeks reddening. Then last, but that didn't stop them from bending me over at any of the table, a pillow beneath my belly when we got home, the burger in one hand as he shoved his cock in his mouth. <laughs> Open my eyes, he said, and then me the meal I'd been hard pressed not to devour in the car. As he pounded it to me, throwing me all the way up, those juices I'd salivated over earlier filled my mouth. Good girl, I said I heard the burger say as I savored every last bite. Sex and food I learned during the rest of my pregnancy are inexplicably intertwined, and sometimes your food of nose was best for you. I recommend that if a burger ever begs you to put it in your mouth, you do so immediately. You can thank me when you're done. <laughs>